Hey welcome, to another After Effects tutorial. Let's see what we are going to create today. Check out our last tutorial, and subscribe to stay updated. Now start with new project, create new composition. Make sure to keep this settings and, set duration to 6 seconds and hit OK. Now import your logo, into the timeline. Now select the rectangle tool, and create a small horizontal mask around your logo. And without moving the mouse, again click and start creating another mask. And create multiple mask. Just like that. Also make sure you don't leave any gap between them. Here I have created 10 mask around my logo. So now, click on logo layer, and press Ctrl plus D, and create a duplicate logo layers according to the number of mask you created. Here I have created 10 mask, so I'll make 10 duplicate layers of this logo. Now click on first logo layer, explore its drop down properties, explore masks, and now delete all mask, except mask 1. Now click on second logo layer, explore its mask properties, again delete all masks, except mask 2. Do this same to all remaining logo layers, delete all unnecessary mask, only keep the mask which are respective with layer number. Awesome. Now, select all layers, and enable this 3D layer. Now click on logo layer, and we have to set this anchor point to middle of this mask. So to do that, click on this pan behind tool, and move this anchor point to the top middle of this mask. Again, do this to all remaining logo layers. Now, select all logo layers, and press R, to open up rotation properties. And move this bar completely, so that we can easily insert keyframes, frame by frame. Now click on this X rotation stopwatch, also press U, so that we can work only on selected area. Now on first frame, create keyframe and set this to plus 90%. Now move this to 8 frames forward, and set this to minus 60%. Again move 8 frames forward, and set it to 40%. Again move 8 frames forward. And set it to minus 20%.
set to plus 14%. Set it to minus 8%. Set it to 3%. And now finally set this last keyframe to 0%. And make sure, you have set all these keyframes in a gap of 8 frames. Now drag the second logo layer to 5 frames forward. And do this to all layers. Drag all logo layers to 5 frames forward in previous logo layer, to create an amazing animation on our logo. Now select all logo layers, and pre-compose it, rename it, if you want. Now download this assets, link in description. And import this background into timeline. Place this background below logo layer. Now drag this flare footage into timeline, and place it above logo layer. Now change its mode to add. Now click on effects and presets. And search for fast blur. And drag it into logo layer. Now on first frame, create keyframe of blurriness to 150%. And move this to few frames forward and create another keyframe to 0%. Now click on logo layer, and press S, to open up scale properties. And click on this stopwatch to create keyframe, where this animation ends, and on first frame set its keyframe to 150%. Now again click on logo layer, and press R, to open up rotation properties. Now click on this stopwatch to create keyframe. Move this keyframe to forward to match up with scale keyframes. And on first frame, set this rotation keyframe to minus 40%. Now right click, and create new text layer. Write your text. And align it to center. Now go to effects and presets, and search for typewriter, and drag it to text layer. Press U to open keyframes, and adjust its keyframe as you want. Now select this keyframe, right click and easy ease them. Now go to graph editor. Make sure you enable this speed graph. And select this and drag this bar, just like that. Now click on flare layer, press R to open rotation properties. Now where this flare animation stops, create a keyframe there. And move this bar to last frame, and set its rotation keyframe to minus 30%. 
And also, make sure to place this text layer below this flare footage. Let's preview our animation. Awesome! Thank you for watching this tutorial. If this tutorial helped you, press the like button, and subscribe for more new contents every week. See you in next tutorial, stay tuned.